Hi, I'm on the Inkscape uh, software and I'm going to show you how to make the shadow with uh, two techniques. And we're going to do them for text and for images. So let's start with the text. For this first technique, if you want to keep the original name or text, you're going to have to duplicate it because you will lose it with the offset. All right, so let's start. The first thing you're going to do is make your text and you want to make it a good size otherwise you're not going to be able to see the offset and you're going to go path object to path object ungroup path union and now we're going to do the first one which is outset you can also do this uh, i'm working from a mac but you can do this in microsoft also this is the shortcut so i'm going to start using the shortcut so we can go a little bit faster so every time i do the outset you see it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. There you go. And if I put this green and I add this one to the top, and bring it to the front, you'll see there's the shadow. Okay, the second option, you don't have to duplicate the name because you won't lose it. Same thing, you're gonna go path, object to path, object, ungroup, path, union and now you're going to do link offset and a little square is going to show up in the top that one you're going to click on it and drag it up and there you go let's change it to green and you'll see the front and the back so now you see those let me click in my arrow here you see those spaces those are very little normally you, you, you can get quite more so the best easiest way to get rid of those if you go path combine path, break apart, and there they are. And what you do is you move your shadow away and you select them and you delete them. That's it. So here you have two options for shadow box that you can do for text. Okay, now we're going to go for images. With images you have one extra step that you have to do and it's called a trace bitmap because you're going to make this into an image that you can change uh, and make a shadow. So this is what you do. You go path, trace bitmap. Once you're there, I try to keep this very always the same. I go colors, like an 8 scan, and I select all of this three, update, okay. Now you go ahead and close this and you're going to end up with two images. You see, this is your original one, looks super nice, and this is the one that you just did. You're going to delete the original one. What you're going to do with this is the same thing that we did with the text. You're going to go path, object to path, object, ungroup, path, union, and let's do the first option, which is outset. I'm going to change the color so you can see a little bit better. So every time you press outset, it gets thicker and thicker. I'm going to use the shortcuts, and there you go. For the next one, same thing. You're going to do path, trace, bitmap. We don't have to change everything, anything because it will, it's going to keep the same settings the last ones that you use. Update OK. Close it. We're going to delete the original one. Move it to the side. Okay, here. It's the original one, delete. And we're going to go path, object to path, object, ungroup, path, union. And now we're going to use the link offset. Let me change the color. All right. And we're going to grab it and drag it up. There you go. See that? Okay, so now we're going to do arrow and we're going to can delete that. You don't need that. Remember, I told you that it keeps the original one. That's why we. That's why we just deleted. So here, let's go ahead and do the combine and break apart to get rid of the extra parts that we don't need. All right, I'm going to go path, combine, path, break apart. And now I'm going to get this. This is my good shadow.
it happens with Mac that it's kind of slow moving things around. That doesn't happen with Microsoft. Okay. And then we can delete all this extra stuff. You can do the same thing for this one. But sometimes I just rather save it like that. And when I go to design space, I use contour and hide all. And that works fine. So this is it. The only thing that I want to add is that to save it so you're able to upload it to design space, you're going to save it as a plain SVG. And that is right here, plain SVG.